Have you ever wanted a better way to manage access to your Google Sheets rather than have to manually add and remove people from the share window? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a script to take a tab with emails and access levels and then add a script menu so you can simply update the access directly from there. And you can see now they're added. And then to remove them, all we have to do is click remove under access level, run the script again, and just like that, we're back to where we started. All right, so let's jump into the script. First of all, let's just take note of our tab name here, which is access. And then we have two columns, one with emails and one with access level we want to grant, which is view, edit, or remove. So that in mind, let's go to extensions and app script and start our coding. So before we do anything here, I'm gonna do a simple thing here to restrict the permissions when we come to authorize this. And it's at only current doc. And what this says is only gonna give access to this specific Google Sheet. So it just makes it easier when it comes time to authorize, which you'll see in a couple minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this function access, and then let's get some variables. So we need to access, first of all, our spreadsheet. And so I'm going to assign that to a variable called SS, using let SS equals to, and then spreadsheet app. And then I'm going to do get active spreadsheet method. And then let's get our tab or sheet. And so I'll do that using ss.getSheet by name. And that was access. And then finally, let's get our data. And so I'll put that in let data. And then sheet.getRange. And then let's start at row two in the first column. And then we need the number of rows, which will be sheet.getLastRow. But we're going to subtract one because we're starting at two, not one. And we're doing that just to ignore this header row there. And then finally, we've got two columns. And then we'll do this get values method on there. All right. So now we have our spreadsheet, our tab, and our data. And now we just need to go row by row through our data and then determine what we want to do based on that. So we'll use a simple for loop. And so for and then we do this parentheses inside there. We're going to use I to stand for our iterator. This could be anything. You could use P, O, whatever. I is a very common one. And then I is zero. And so that will start us off because this is an array here. And so array in JavaScript, which is this is a app script is a type of JavaScript. An array starts at zero, not at one. So it can be a little confusing, but that's why we're starting I is zero, not I equals one. So let's go ahead and continue. So I is less than data length. And so what we're doing inside this for statement is this is our start. This is our condition if we want to keep going. And then what we want to do after is increase I. So I plus plus just means add one to I. So I equals zero. If I is less than data length, continue. When you continue, finish the iteration, add one to I and keep going. And so what it's going to do is I will be zero as long as I is less than data length. So in this case, we have two rows. Then it's going to be I equals zero, then I equals one and I equals two, et cetera. So with that being said, now we can do something like let row equals to data. And then we're going to access that by doing this bracket and I. And so this let row is going to look something like email address and access level, right? And so that would be, for example, John Doe followed by view. And then our next row would be CZQ followed by edit. And so that's what our data structure is going to look like. So within that, we can get our email. So let's say let email equals to row. And now we're going to use a number. So we're using the I here because this I is dynamic. And so as it goes through this for loop, I is going to be zero, I is going to be one and so forth. And so that's how we can get dynamically our row. But then inside that row, the email address is always in the first position, which remember was zero. And then let access level equals to row one. And so now what we can do is a simple if statement and determine what we want to do with that. So let's say if access level is equal to, 
And notice I'm using two equals, not one. So one equals is actually an assignment. And so this let ss means I want spreadsheet dot get active spreadsheet be assigned to ss. So then as I go forward, I can say ss and just add something to it because I could add this to the end of this. But we want to abstract a little bit in programming to make it more useful. So this double equals is a comparative. So it's saying is access level equals to and now we can determine what we want to do here. So we could say is access level equal to view. And if so, we want to do this. Let's go ahead and copy this. We want to do a couple different things here. So we want to do view. Edit or remove. And so I'm just going to do right click and format document just to get this tabbing there for us just to get our tab inserts. All right, so now inside, if our access level equals to view, we want to add them as a viewer. And so the way you can do this is very simple now. We have our spreadsheet right here in this SS. So we can do SS add viewer. And we have our email right here. And that's how you add a viewer is by the email address. And so you can just say add viewer email. And then under edit, we can do add editor and email and then if it's remove so let's do ss and then remove you can see we have remove editor and remove viewer but we don't necessarily know which one it is so what we're going to do is do both viewer but so we don't have an error we're just going to wrap these in a simple try and so what try does is it tries it and if it has an error, we'll catch it just like this, which we don't need to know anything. It's just going to try the editor and then try the viewer to see if it's in either one. And if so, it will remove it. So that's pretty simple, just like that. And believe it or not, that is the essence of the script. So next, let's go ahead and authorize the script. And we'll do that by clicking run. And then here it'll ask us to review permissions and we can choose our Google account. And if you remember before this at um, only current doc is allowing us to have this simplified one instead of if you've looked at this before, you'll get this warning. Google has not reviewed this and so forth, but this makes it a little easier. You can just click allow and there we go. It's already running. And so let's go ahead and check. Let's see if it added them. So if we go to share there now we can see it add John Doe as a viewer and Susie Q as a editor. So what if we want to remove them? We can go ahead and just change those both to remove and then run this again. And there it's done. Let's go ahead and check. And lo and behold, they are gone. So that's the basics. Let's look at a couple ways to make this perhaps a little easier to use. And so the first thing I'm going to do is add a menu and a menu will show up next to help. And so I'll just make it a little easier so you don't have to go to the app script to run this. So we're going to use a on open function name. And this is a arbitrary one or a pre assigned one that Google app script has. And this will automatically run every time this, the Google sheet opens. So in this, we can do a spreadsheet menu. And so let's go ahead and just sign it. We'll call it let UI equals spreadsheet app. And then we want to do this get UI method. And now with this, we can create a menu and you can call it whatever you like. You can do it call access or script menu, whatever you like there, depending upon probably if you have multiple functions going on. And then we're going to use this at item method. And then we can say update access. And that's going to be our caption or our title for the button. And then function name is going to be the function right here, which is access. So just like that. And then to make this show up, we're going to do add to UI. If you notice, we're adding a dot between each one of those. So at this point, we can click save and then we could either reload the spreadsheet by clicking refresh or we can actually run this on open right from here. And then if you look, here is that script menu right there. So that allows us to run it directly from there. So the last thing I want to do in this video before we wind this up 
is if you start to use this, you'll notice that there's no email notifications when access is granted. And the reason being is this standard method does not include that by default. Now, the best method to do this is to use a drive service, but that method is very complicated. And so I'm going to show you a workaround that you can use to do this. And we're just going to use a simple mail app notification. And we're going to do a send email. And we're going to use that email. And we're going to say access granted, for example, something like this to, and let me do this. We're going to add this back tick. And the reason why is I'm going to do this dollar sign and curly braces. And I'm going to get the name of this sheet. And so what we're going to do is ss.get name. And this is our subject. So I'm using these back ticks. So this is called a template literal. I can use that in there. The template literal is a dollar sign, two curly braces, and you can put a variable inside that. You could put math and whatever else in there. You could do one plus one, et cetera. But the basics is that allows you to insert stuff. So in this send mail, we have email, subject, and then the body of the email, email. And then the body of the email. And so let's go ahead and add our body here. And so we could go ahead and add a link to the spreadsheet. And so we could say you have been granted access to, and we could add this again, get name. And then we could add a new line here, for example. Um, Technically, this one is an HTML right now. So if we want HTML, we could add it like this. Um, use these curly braces and then do this method. So it's up to you how complicated you want to get, if you want to keep it simple or not. And then let's go ahead and move this down. And this will be HTML body. And then we can close that up. So this is a slightly more complicated method, but allows you to do HTML body which means you can do new line tags like this or paragraph tags, etc. And then we can use a link here. So we could use this a h reference and then do Google sheet here. And if you're familiar with HTML, this a h reference is actually a link. And so in here, we're going to use that template literal again. And this time we're going to get URL for the spreadsheet. And so what this is going to do is send an email to them with the subject saying access granted to spreadsheet name. And then it will give them the link here. And so we could say click here if we wanted to. Instead of Google Sheet, that might make a little more sense. And then what we want to do is actually add this because right now it's only in the add viewer. So I'm just going to copy this and add it to the editor one as well. So at this point, we have all that we need. And again, if you want a simpler version of this, let me just go ahead and show you. If you don't want to use HTML, then you can just get rid of these curly braces. And then all you need is email, subject, and we can do this. In this case, we have to get rid of that href there, and we can still put that link. Something like that. So this isn't going to have any new lines, but that's a simplified method. You want to keep it that way. So this HTML is a very easy switch, as you can tell. It allows you to do things like new lines and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this for now. And there we go. We have everything set up now. So I'll send them an email, tell them that they've been given access, whether they have view or edit. And then we don't necessarily need to tell them when they've been removed unless you want to. And then you could put this and say you've been removed. Do you need access again? Please contact us or something like that. But that's all that we are going to do today on this. I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to manage access to your Google Sheets using AppScript. Make sure to check a link in the description below 
to access a copy of this Google Sheet and script. So we can begin to play around with it and see how you can make it work in your own projects. Make sure to check out our other videos for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.